Alright, so I have a few different unboxings that I'm going to do today. And apologies if you hear a bit of a whirring in the uh, in the background. Uh, so I'm going to start with this lid Rebel AC. It's an automatic chronograph that i kind of been watching for a while and considering purchasing. Um, and I ended up finally pulling the trigger just recently. I had actually looked at this campaign when it was on in Indiegogo. And now I have purchased it. So, there we go. And this nice bag. There's a packing slip in here. Put that off to the side. Let me get this out the way. Let's open up this bag. So there's the box. That's everything. Oh, I thought that was everything in the bag. Oh, I got an extra strap, so that's gotta be that extra strap. So I put that bag off to the side. Let's look through some of this stuff here. So, a personal message from Chaz. I could read that. It's a limited edition, certificate of authenticity. A little bit of a getting started guide. I might need to come back to that. And an important notice. So, let's go ahead and open this. Packaging does feel like pretty high quality. The front folds out pretty nice. That's cool. This one has the shark band. It does definitely feel like pretty good quality packaging. This is the 44mm uh, Apple Watch that I'm wearing. So, this does look a good bit bigger than that. Um, so this is an automatic chronograph. Let's go ahead and take this off. It does feel like a good size for my wrist. I don't have very large wrists, so I think there have been some complaints about the strap sizes, but for me, this looks like it will be big enough. My right wrist is actually a little bit bigger than my left, so 
It's, um, it fits on the right. It's, uh, got some room to spare. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Has a little thing on it that says Dare to Live. Go ahead and remove this. I think one of the uh, complaints has been the way that the strap sits. I think that the strap looks okay. I don't know if that's for some of the other models out there, but it feels pretty good to me. Go ahead and put it on my left wrist. So, take off my Apple Watch. Try this guy on. The uh, shark skin leather is pretty stiff, so that might need some breaking in. Um, Looks pretty good. Feels pretty good. So, let's see. The instructions. Position one, normal position and manual winding. Rapid date correction for position 2. Do not change the date between 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. So, position 3 is. So, let's go ahead and do some of this. So, let's wind it up a bit. Oh, I was winding the wrong way, so it looks like counterclockwise is to wind it. And pull out to position one. That would be date, but I want to make sure that we get to a proper. Uh, we're going to get past midnight. 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. So we'll go to at least. 3 a.m. So, we just passed noon. Well, actually, what is that for? Yeah. 4.30. I'm going to let me go past midnight just to make sure that that's scrolling okay. And then, so now, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, about there, noon, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I think we're about, so about at 4.30. 
So I'll go ahead and get this a little past 4.30. Let's go ahead and set the date. Okay, it's the 19th. So we got a seconds moving. It looks pretty good. I'm not sure why the let's be set to zero. Let me be. There we go. So we got it to set. It's a pretty nice sweep of the hand there, you can see. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. So it's doing a timer. And the sweep's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and stop and clear it. Looks good. Let's see if this is hackable. So it looks like it is. So I was able to stop the seconds. So let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this watch for a little while and see how it is. This strap is pretty stiff. So, that's basically it for uh, this video. I Overall, I think it looks pretty good. I think the, the face is real nice. The case feels solid. I mean, everything feels pretty solid, so pretty happy with it so far and we'll see how it ends up holding up and I'll check back in with another video at a later time. I forgot to show I wanted to 
also take out this other strap that I got. So I got the blue leather strap. So that looks pretty good. It looks like a pretty solid strap. Has these nice kind of quick release things. Let's go ahead and show changing the strap. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, that's smooth. So this is the genuine shark. Interesting. So let's go ahead and try these quick release straps out. Oops. So that was easy enough. Pop this right in. Go. So there it is with the blue leather strap. The blue leather also feels pretty stiff. Or well, the black leather with the alligator pattern, that is. And the blue stitching. So it looks good. I think there's going to be a little bit of a break in for both of these straps. But I have really thin wrists. I think like, I don't know. I do have these small wrists, so I could imagine these straps on a bigger wrist might not even fit. But we'll see. Alright, catch you on the next one.